Welcome back to Hidden Bike Gems, guys. In today's video, we got this very cool custom frame up build. This is all the way from Taiwan, a super light road is the model. It's made by a company named Caribou, who has been in the game for a while, actually. They have some very nice TIG welds here. You can tell this is some high end aluminum, I'm guessing around 7,005 series, something like that. You know, this is uh, actually using Cannondale CAD 10 parts. This has a lot of Cannondale influence, if you ask me. You know, I like the high-end aluminum bikes. It's good to build something budget. You could get pretty close to carbon performance and you don't have to worry about it because you have the, you know, the durability of aluminum for the most part. You could get a small dent in it and keep riding. Unlike carbon, you know, it's a fairly expensive repair to get that done. So let's get into it though. Here we have a really nice carbon fiber fork. This being full carbon steer and legs keeps it nice or lightweight. A, bit, a nice addition, you know, it. something generally you have to upgrade to on a lot of other bikes, especially if you're gonna buy something used for under a thousand dollars almost every time, unless you get lucky. Something to look out for. This has a nice taper to it, as mentioned, one and a half inch at the bottom and then standard one and one eighth inch at the top. So you do have to get some integrated headset bearings, which give it a much nicer ride and also saves you weight on the frame because you don't have to have the cups and this whole other madness assembly for the older style headsets. That's all gone now. You upgrading to the newer style stuff. So this fork actually is around 400 grams uncut. It's 12 inches from bottom to top before it's cut. This one is trimmed fairly high for its frame for whoever. This is actually for sale. Whoever I sell it to will end up cutting it down to their size. It's always good to keep it a little long. The entire frame set all together, when you get the headset, the fork, you have to buy a rear derailleur for it. I'll have links to all this in the description if you did find one of these, because actually there are a bunch floating around. I got these all the way from a, a reseller in California. I bought six for myself. That's how much I like these. These are very cool frames. And they do come in a really nice, just cool looking aluminum raw. Very nice looking. So if you know you are out there, you will need the rear derailleur. You will need the headset pieces. These are special to that frame. It's kind of a pain finding that kind of stuff if you haven't done it before. But like I said, links in the description. So this entire frame set, as I was saying, only 1300 grams. You really can't complain for that. You know, uh, a lot of really high end ones like Madones and Cannondale Super Sixes and stuff like that. They're around like 1,000 to 1,100 grams and they're incredibly way more expensive than something like this. It's an aluminum budget frame. And also, you know, not to say anything bad about Caribou, they actually make bikes for companies like Specialized and stuff like that. There's a really good YouTube video you can check out that uh, is a guy touring Caribou's facility. Very nice stuff. And you could see in the pictures I showed, you know, it comes out to be a very nice build. So what I did here is actually I took a Cannondale CAD 10 105.5 version, which is the compact crank with Shimano 105.11 speed 5800. One of the really good things about this is the lever. I love the, the shape of it. It gives you such a, a, I mean, that is barely any movement right there. And that is squeezing the brake to where you'd be completely stopped. The lever for the new 11 speed is incredibly impressive. This is also paired to a pair of 105 5800 brakes. They have the newer style, unlike older styles now, the 105s are 5800 11 speed. They have the twin cam, much like Ultegra and Durace do. They're, they're about 85 bucks new. Pretty good performance. I mean, they're 385 grams. You can't complain about that weight. With the wider twin cam design here, you have the ability to fit a 28C tire. That, that's a big difference here. So if you're not a weight weenie, it's, it's hard, like I said, for the money, some of the best brakes you could buy. I, I chose to upgrade them. The Cannondale CAD 10 had some decent Tektros on it, not my favorite. And I mean, the lever feel on this is just incredible. It's super strong. Feels like you can tighten it a little tighter even if you wanted. There's, I have it set up pretty loose on the pad, so something to think about. The parts I did keep from the Cannondale are Shimano 105 rear derailleur, the Shimano 105 front derailleur, 
I ended up just keeping the cassette that came with it along with the wheels. It has a 1128, 11 speed Shimano 105 cassette. That paired to the, this is a Shimano non-series crank. This crank was not original to it, but it is the same size. It came with a 5034 originally, but it was like a FSA, like a no-name brand. Uh, I'll have a picture of that. It doesn't fit the original frame because that Cannondale is a BB30 with the press-in bearings. That's one of the nice things about this too. This is a standard frame. You could take almost anything you want on this. I have built three of these with nine speed parts as well. So, but it's a threaded 68 millimeter bottom bracket super standard you could just put whatever you want in there if somebody wanted to you could for pretty cheap you could even upgrade to an Ultegra it's actually something I've thought about doing I've been seeing them floating around online for cheap so all together the bike actually comes out to be 18 and a half pounds not including the pedals because generally bikes aren't sold with pedals considering what we're working with for the wheels is what came with it and their economy for sure so if you wanted to take this to the next level you could lose literally a pound roughly 500 grams by going to a, a nicer wheel set that's not even a full race set you could i've gotten like a dura ace c35 or c25 uh, semi carbon aluminum wheels and those are around 350 used they're actually around 1350 grams the shimano rs11 wheels here these are very nice wheels for everyday heavy training stuff like that Super reliable, nice bladed spokes. They're around 1,980 grams. It does keep it a little on the heavy side. Like I said, you could drop almost a full pound just doing that and you would have a 17 and a half pound bike as it sits now. What we have here is an Amazon seat post. It's very cool, Richie inspired with the lightweight pieces and I think they're around 30 bucks. A nice Selly Itali saddle, gotta have that to complete this build. And the cockpit just went what you would do for, you know, a nice, High performance bike that's on a budget. Bontrager race light stem paired to a giant Connect XR pair of handlebars. Those are nice and wide, give you a nice ergonomic feel to them. And the bike came out great. Very pretty bike, looks neat, catches your eye. So this is what it looks like and I hope you guys like it. Check out the beauties. Please do take the time to like this video and subscribe. It really helps my small channel grow guys. Gets me more stuff to help you make videos with. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.